I think I need more Minecraft Legos, personally. I have to expand my collection. Anyway, this is probably going to be the last video I post from my office here at my secure location at Coastal Pines Technical College. Um, so, in keeping with the goal of maintaining a degree of simplicity, there I go, touching my face. Um, to maintain simplicity for the first few rounds of our uh, lessons in wake of the fact that we're no longer in a uh, face-to-face -face class environment, um, let's do this. I have opened discussion forums that are titled each of the groups. Go into the discussion board page on Blackboard. Find your group's discussion forum and begin responding to my videos in those forums. I'd like to try to keep the amount of discussion forums limited. Keeping these divided by group, I think, will help us out a lot. And also, you can kind of feel free to use these discussion forums to also chat with your group members. Um, I'm going to be looking for interaction. I'm going to be looking for you guys to post what I ask. But you can also treat these as kind of a chat. Now, what do I want you to do? This is going to be group work, but you're going to have a very individualistic response this time. It's really hard to do group work online. But for this particular leg, what I want you to do, think about the job that you've chosen. Some of you guys are hitmen. Some of you guys are bankers. Some of you guys are lawyers or managers. I want you to go online. And I want you to find at least three sources of information about the job that you've chosen. And I want you to share those sources in the discussion forum. For each source, I want you to tell your group a little bit about what it is, where it's from, and how you think it might be useful writing about this project. Now, again, don't freak out very much about this. Um, we're still very much in the testing phase. As long as you find three sources of information and give me a brief uh, single paragraph write-up of each, about eight to ten sentences for each source, um, you're going to get some credit for that. We're basically building a foundation for an annotated bibliography. I don't want to bombard you with too much information right now about how that thing's going to be formatted. So let's just gather the resources together, post them in the forums, and later next week we'll probably respond to each other's information and start using it to do all sorts of fun and funky things. Now, I am going to throw you a curveball. One of the sources of information that you find to share in the forum, these can come from all sorts of different locations, different blogs, news sources, studies from universities. Uh, all of that is permissible, but I want you to use Galileo in order to find one source that is quote-unquote scholarly. So... <clears throat> there I go. Um, and take the same approach with the scholarly source that you've done with the others. Like, describe it, what's useful about it. You can even, you know, say negative things about it if you want. If it's not useful, tell me about why you think it won't be useful. That's perfectly permissible at this stage. So, two of the sources can come from anywhere. And they need to just have something to do with your job. So, let's say for a minute... I'm going to do, uh, let's do a normal one. Let's say that you are a bartender at the bar, right? What are the credentials that you have to have to become licensed as a bartender? Different cities are going to have different requirements and different licensing stuff. What are popular drinks right now that people order, right? What are some proper procedures for keeping a bar clean? And what are the health inspection things? All of that is permissible. All I want is information that is in some way pertinent. Okay? So, go to one of the kooky ones. I have several people in the drug cartel group who are enforcers. What kind of firearm do you think you would use as the enforcer for a cartel? And again, 
<laughs> I have a feeling these videos might be flagged. But like, th so if you wanted to, uh, if you wanted to answer that question, what kind of guns do members and drug cartels use now? What type of firearms are they moving? All of a sudden, you could use some pretty standard stuff in order to answer a question like that, right? Like, <clears throat> what are the most common weapons that you can find in Mexico that are used in crimes? You go on Galileo, you're probably going to find stuff like that out there. Um, yeah, I mean, there's, there's all sorts of possibilities. And, again, the best way to approach this particular assignment is to have fun with it. Think about some of the stranger aspects of the information that you would want and the information that you would need. A lot of times students respond to assignments like this and they say, Mr. Bailey, what is this right? Is this correct? Don't worry so much about the rightness or the correctness of it. Worry instead about what is the potential use. Um, again, experiment. If, it's, if what you do is completely and totally wrong, I'm probably still going to give you a good chunk of credit for it because at this point I'm very open to mistakes and you know if you go off on a beaten path that you're not going to be able to use lesson learned as long as you put the work into it and you give it the old college try it's uh I mean that's that's kind of what I'm looking for anyway so I'll write up a quick description with this video of the assignment the group forums are posted if you guys have any questions, I have my phone. I'll be monitoring my email because, again, a lot of you guys have not been in the online environment before. So, a lot of you guys are contacting me and being like, Mr. Bailey, I'm sorry to bother you. I'm sorry to bother you. Guys, it's my job. I want you to contact me. I want you to ask me questions. I want you to... I want to help you, okay? If you're not asking me questions, then you're just sitting there helpless. You don't know what to do. You're not pestering me. You're doing what you need to do as responsible students. Contact me, okay? Again, I feel like this assignment is pretty straightforward. But if it's not, let me know. You know, I might be able to kind of um, <clears throat> call an audible and change something about it to make it a little more streamlined. I'm trying to keep it simple right that's the goal right now if this goes off pretty well this week we'll try something a little more complicated next week okay now <coughs> i got the coronas um <coughs> aren't we aren't you glad we're on online now <laughs> anyway um i have had some questions about the assignment that i had before the proposal don't worry about that right now i've canceled that assignment we're doing something different we're moving forward on this we're just concentrating on this because right now we all need simple we'll build up to something more complicated right i know what i'm spending my thousand dollar check on if it comes i'm gonna get me a big old new minecraft set anyway you guys be safe Contact me if you have questions, and uh, peace.